All you rodeo riders, this is Cabo Ryan, Rodeo Fit. I don't make a lot of videos that I do a lot of talking. I don't like to, <clears throat> I don't like to brag on myself. I'd rather have my results brag on me. I'd rather have other people brag on me of what I'm doing, what I'm accomplishing. Decided at 51 years old to <clears throat> crack out in the bareback riding again because uh, my 11 year old son, he died of meningitis. If you ever get extreme headache, you go to the hospital and tell them to do a spinal tap. Um, if the hospital was done that, he would be with us today. But I decided this is his ashes. So I decided to return to rodeo. He wanted to be a bareback rider. Um, and the results that I want to just kind of show you guys is the fitness shape I'm in, 51 years old. I don't think there's a <clears throat> there's much of a limit on age of riding. It's it's a matter of what how well you take care of your body. I know guys that are 20 years old and and getting the heck beat out of them because they're not taking care of themselves. And uh, so um, currently uh, ninth in the state of Montana, the NRA circuit rode uh, in this circuit 25 years ago. And uh, you know what? I'm just kind of trying to find myself in life now moving forward without my son and just my daughter. And uh, you know what, I'm, I'm, people always ask, why Why would you return to rodeo at 51 years old? That, that's ridiculous. And and after after living life without my son, I realize every day you, uh, this it could be your last day. You don't you don't know if tomorrow's gonna come. You don't know if the, this afternoon or this evening's gonna come. And and uh, you just need to live with the passion and, and with, with a big heart, a kind heart, be nice to people, treat people the way um, you want to be treated and, and hopefully those of you that are watching the videos and following the TikTok, the Instagram, they just kind of started that stuff in hopes of that I could reach one of you or hundreds of you and get you to realize that, you know, uh, our lives have an expiration date on it and, and we don't know, we don't know when that date's going to come, but live life to the fullest, live every day to the fullest. And so what I'm doing is I... And my Dodge pickup truck, every cowboy's dream, it's a Dodge Diesel, the old Lance camper that I used to rodeo with. I got my wife, uh, loving wife that, that I won at a rodeo. She's with me. We're traveling. We're here in my hometown of Darby, Montana. Um, it's the home of the Riggin Rally. The Yellowstone Riggin Rally, some of the best bareback riders in the world show up here. But my real purpose, guys, is to just let my results do the talking for me. You can see that, you know what, I'm 51 years old. I'm in pretty, pretty darn pretty darn good shape um and uh you can do it no matter no matter how old you are you, if you take care of yourself you can do it. take care of your body take care of your mind and uh you know i'm riding tonight in my hometown of ninth in montana and trying to qualify for the state finals i think i made it we had a few rodeos left but you know what i train uh in my mind every day in the gym working as hard as i possibly can and i and i've got you know that I don't let the dream die. 17 years ago, rodeo ended for me, and uh, I still have the dream in my mind of riding as an NFR. I train like a world champion. Train like that I'm gonna be a world champion, and I try to give it everything I got to be a world champion. And I also try to give back to the fans and everybody that supports rodeo. And you know, I get my my goal is if if I can bring something to, to rodeo and not just a, a, a win and ride and cowboy, there's so much more to rodeo than just, hey, look at you win. I'm helping all these young kids now in my hometown and getting them started, getting them started right, or guys that have, have been riding and they've been struggling and, I, and I'm and i teaching some things. I've rode in Denver, I've rode in Cheyenne, I've rode in Austin, I've rode many times on, on TV, you know, rode with a lot of big name riders and it's uh i'm kind of now noticing as i go to these rodeos i appreciate you guys following and give me a thumbs up or a like or a share or a comment um it's neat to start going to these rodeos and having you young kids recognize me and be like hey you're the you're the guy that i see working out all the time and push-ups you know people always ask well working out make me a better rider oh absolutely okay because what it's going to do it's going to prepare your body your muscles your tendons your ligaments um your joints everything to be able to handle this high impact fast action uh riding sport and uh you know the injuries are the injuries are gonna come i got plenty of injuries right now really sore shoulders kind of popped out some ribs the other day i got pretty pretty sore knee but you know what i'm noticing bam you know <clears throat> by near the end of the week that the, the injury that i had the beginning of the week it's it's almost gone because i'm eating really healthy and just taking care of myself so hopefully 
hopefully this video will kind of grab your attention and get you to realize you know you can do do what you want to do you got to just put your mind to it you got to set uh set your goals and then you know i have a lot i've had a lot of mentors in rodeo five-time world champ bruce ford had been my mentor forever and he always taught me you always got to be setting goals set a goal set a goal set a goal and then as you get close to that goal set another goal and my goal um was to ride the best i possibly could and make the state finals and it looks like that, that i think i'm in there now i want to want to get a little deeper in there but i'm gunning for first place here in montana we only have a few rodeos left um but i'm training that that i'm gonna win it and uh whether i win or not that is that's not that's not my end all happiness in life the the end all is what whatever the outcome is by the end of the season it's the person that i become and the person that i train and train to be in the mindset and the adversities that i had to overcome uh going for for what i wanted which is is first place and my message to you guys is that you don't know if tomorrow's going to come so safety up and just playing this game this is a game this is a sport you can turn this into a real uh career like the top riders are there's a lot a lot a lot of money in rodeo now but um i'm gonna leave you with this the more you give the more you're gonna get let me say that again the more you give to this sport of rodeo the more it's going to eventually start giving back to you and uh, i'm super excited one of my students down in texas tony tharp he's 38 years old um he thought about hanging up the spurs a couple years ago and then he started doing my workouts and i started coaching him and man i i wish i could ride like that kid does but now he's he's number one in texas right now and it looks like you know another few more rodeos and he's gonna button up his first win in i think 15 years uh he's never won the never won the title down there and uh you know what it's just it's just hard work hard work i'm gonna ride tonight in honor of my son uh, look at that tight new haircut that i got my wife is super excited about it and then look what i got in the side there for you bareback riders you can say i got a bee inside my head for bareback riding but it's actually for my son brentley um in his honor because he's up in heaven hi brent he's up in heaven riding with me all right guys give me a thumbs up post a comment and if you're uh got any questions or need any help just just shoot me a message